Hey guys, want to give you guys a new accessory that you probably have seen or heard but never actually used. It's the Giobi flexible tripod. Now there's different ones out there, so I want to go over which ones to get and which ones not to get. So hang on, check it out. <laughs> Alright guys, so you have probably have heard of these flexible tripods. They're made by GOB. Um, otherwise, there's a lot of other companies that do make these flexible tripods, but GOB are the best of the best. You know, it's like name brand. It's like Sony or the Maserati. You know, it's the high end, the best of the best you can get, but you're going to pay more for them. Now, there are cheaper ones that you can find on the internet. But you got to be careful which ones to get. There's ones that are really good quality, like the GOB, and then there's ones that are really junky. So I personally use one of these flexible tripods when I use my GoPro quite often. They're very nice. This is the one I've been using for quite some time. It's, I think, personally really cool to have. It's very flexible. You can do whatever you want. You can set it up like this. Or say so you want to get lower to the ground or lower to something else, all you do is just spread the legs out and it goes flat so it's nice and stable. Otherwise you can say wrap it around a tree branch, a post, whatever you can think, a door handle. They work really well. They stay real stable on whatever it is because they got this rubber grip all the way around each little knob here that gives, you know, keeps it very stable. Now I bought this one a long time ago. It was kind of used and abused um, when I first got it. Used it exactly for when I went to Duluth. We did a Duluth flight in a seaplane over Duluth and you know Canal Park and everything like that. It's a great video. Check it up there up in the eye. Um, the reason this one's kind of beat up the most, especially when the little rubber is taken off, is when my daughter had it, she was kind of chewing on it because she was only like you know one years old one and a half and she was flying around and well frankly i think she was hungry so she decided to chew on this so i wanted to get a new one and i figured well why not i'll get one that comes with a camera holder too or for a cell phone holder and it works really well i use it for you know different time lapse videos i can use one time lapse video on my GoPro, I could use another one on my iPhone 5S. So I was like, that's a great idea. I wanted to get a second one because I really wanted the cell phone part so I could put it on my, my steady cam so that I could have my GoPro and then have my cell phone behind it so I can see exactly what's going on when I'm using my steady cam. So I bought this blue one. I figured, okay, red and blue. You know, everybody knows how patriotic that I am and how I like it. So I got the red, the white, and blue. See? So I couldn't help myself. I had to get red, white, and blue. And, which is awesome. But when I was buying this, this one, the red one, cost me about three bucks. This one cost me about four bucks. And I thought, oh, okay, it's about the same thing. No, wrong. This one is such cheaply made. It doesn't hold up at all. It's really flimsy. If you can see how just I'm barely even moving it and this thing is, legs are just not stably strong like my white one or my red one. I mean, you move this, it takes a lot more force to get it to move. And I wish I had a better example on how much, how flimsy this one is, but I mean, if I were to push on it, that one crumples. That one I have to put a lot more weight on. So you got to be careful. This one came from China. Biggest hunk of junk ever. I probably will never even use this thing because it won't, you know, doesn't have that same grip power that the red one or the white one does. So be careful and watch what you're doing. This one, frankly, is going in the trash. There it goes. It's never coming back. I hate it. So with that set aside, definitely get one of these flexible tripod mounts. 
They're very useful, very handy to have. Casey Neistead, who is a big YouTube channel person, I'll put a link to his web uh, to his channel right below in the descriptions. He uses a bigger version of this for his DSLR. He takes it and he'll actually bend it like this as he's you know on his skateboard or talking, and it keeps it so that his arm is out of the shot, which is awesome. He makes the best videos ever. So check out Casey Neistead and you might sometimes see his setup with his DSLR. On that note, let me know what you think. You know, leave me comments down below. Hit the like button if you like this video. Subscribe to my channel. And I'm just going to give you more stuff every day. So hopefully you guys are having a great day. And always be safe, be happy, and love yourself.